Hello, this is Exponents and Radicals, Radical Expressions, Example 5. There's an A part and a B part. This is A part. Now, um, we have three terms here, 4 radical 10 plus radical 13 minus 9 radical 10. I'm going to get these radical 10s together. I'm just switching these two. So I end up with 4 radical 10 minus 9 radical 10 plus radical 13. Now I need to talk about 4 radical 10 take away 9 radical 10. Um, the book gives an explanation using the distributive property and uh, take a look at that if it makes sense to you great. But um, it, it does make sense to me, but I remember that it never made sense to me when I was a student. So I'm going to try to talk about this in a much simpler way. Uh, this, this is 4 radical 10s minus 9 radical 10s. Well, forget about the radical 10s. This is 4 somethings take away 9 somethings, and it's the same thump somethings. It's like four apples take away nine apples, or four oranges take away nine oranges, or something that we've worked with quite a bit. It's like 4x take away 9x, and in this case, x is equal to radical 10. Okay? So that's what we have here. Four of these take away nine of these, and altogether that's minus five of these. So in that way, four radical ten minus nine radical ten, well that's negative five radical ten plus radical thirteen. And um, I'm pretty sure that's the answer. That's all we can do. Um, 13 certainly doesn't simplify into any of these, and 10, we can't split 10 into any of these, so that's as simple as we can get it. Let's see, example B, um, we have 5 radical 3 plus radical 48, and uh, to simplify this, uh, we have to find... Um, something to split 48 into, and 48 is 16 times 3. So uh, I'm going to split that into 16 times 3. 5 radical 3 plus the square root of 16 times the square root of 3. The square root of 16 is 4, so we have 5 radical 3 plus 4 radical 3 and just like I talked about a minute ago this is 5 somethings plus 4 somethings or 5 oranges plus 4 oranges 5 apples plus 4 apples very similar to 5x plus 4x and this is 9 radical 3 is the answer now, one more thing that I want to explain about the square root of 48. Uh, I said that the square root of 48 is equal to 16 times 3. Well, I remember as a student, I would have never saw that. I would have saw that 48 is 4 times tw 12. And I just want to show you that that is a possibility. Um, if you didn't see that 48 is 16 times 3, maybe all you saw was 48 is 4 times 12, and that simplifies to 2 radical 12. Well, you would just have to see that again. You would have to see that f 12 can split into 4 times 3, and in that way get 4 radical 3. So I basically went in a couple of steps from the square root of 48 to 4 radical 3 because I saw 16 straight off. If you only saw the 4, you would have to see it twice and you'll still end up with 4 radical 3 for the square root of 48.